Longevity of a star depends on its mass. Generally, the more massy the star, the faster it burns up its fuel supply and the shorter its life. The most massive stars can burn out and explode in a supernova after only a few million years of fusion. On the other hand, a star with a mass like the Sun can continue fusing hydrogen for about 10 billion years. A tiny star, let's just say with a mass only a tenth of that of the Sun, can keep fusing hydrogen for up to a trillion years. That means they can live longer than the current age of the universe. But let's get back to the point. Referring to the subject of how stars die, this also depends on its mass. Supermassive stars exhaust their fuel supply very quickly, thus exploding in core collapse supernovae which are one of the most energetic explosions in the universe. The radiation of a supernova can easily outshine the rest of its host galaxy. The core of the dead star will either form a neutron star or a black hole. It all depends on how much mass remains. As the average stars with up to 1.44 solar masses, such as the Sun, run out of hydrogen to fuse in their cores, they swell into red giant stars before shedding their outer layers. The remnant left behind in these planetary nebulae is a white dwarf star. Like neutron stars, white dwarfs no longer fuse hydrogen into helium. Instead, depending on degeneracy pressure for support, this time the electrons are degenerate, packed together and forced into higher energy states rather than the neutrons. White dwarfs will eventually fade into black dwarfs. An interesting fact is that no black dwarfs have yet been observed. That's because a white dwarf takes longer than the current age of the universe to fade away.